Man, this more right here, bro. You not, you not, bro. I am. You don't have to. No, you can tell. Yep. <laughs> she one of them. You have to. <laughs> well, it's whatever, bro. Yeah, hey, ain't no fun. Let's be honest. So, sure, put me on frame. But check this out. What's good? Hey, you with fine wine and innocent. We got a special guest in with us today. Mr. Dunn did over everything you did or did already. That part. Ooh, that part. That part. I like that type of energy. It's that's real, that's bro. what we bring it's in. Real. That's, that's what we bring coming, in. Bro. All right. Well, I like it. Hey, he got two phones. Let's not get it too. You know what I'm saying? Look, man. Put my on the table. Bro. No, no, no. We respect you. We respect the business. It's business. business. But you eat trap jumping like this? You got All right. Business is business. As long as you know. Correct ourselves, you, know you what got saying? it. Make you sure the phones it. don't ring. That's Make all. Sure that's that's all. That's it. Everything don't vibrate, man. Everything vibrate. All right. Hey, so hey, I've been knowing you for a little minute now. Yeah, I'm almost, I mean, look, what you want to say? Almost like two years. About right, two years. Two, two years. Strong years. And then you even you even went to school in my hometown. Yeah, bro. You been catered, bro. Where's it greater? For sure. Well, you used to get at least. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah, tell, tell them what you do. You know what I'm saying? Let yeah. them know who you are. All right, man. You know me. You know, I'm out here selling cars, drive time, drive time, drive time. If you need a car, come holler at me. Yes, sir. So hey, get the money. If you need finance a car, holler at me. If you need car cash, holler at me. But you know, got the outsiders. You know, you part of the outsiders. You yes, know what it is. So basically, we not just no order promotion group, man. We out here. Trying to just get a city something we don't always have, man. Get a different vibe or something, man. Masquerade sneaker ball we just had. That was lit. December 14th, hey, coming back again, 2020, bigger and better than ever. So just get a vibe different, man. I'm tired of just going out to the club, regular little hookah, this, this, and that, dress up and this. Mm -hmm. Nah, man, get a city something to look forward to, man. Just something to get back to the city. Man. Okay. Yeah, man, that's, that's, that's for sure. So how do you do what you do? How I do what I do? Yeah, like, what does it actually look like? Like, cause, you know, you, since you're talking about promotion, like, oh, okay, you know, you, you say you say you sell cars, mm -hmm. but you know, but actually, what you want to do for the community, we act, like we talked prior to this um, mm -hmm. uh, interview, like, tell them about what you what you do and why you want to do it. You feel me? Okay, so what I do right now is just do everything possible to give back to the city, whatever yeah. it is, whether it's the kids, whether it's the homeless, it's the much needed or the less fortunate, or whoever needed, I got it for you. So my whole thing is to find a group of people and just execute our plans, man. We always talk about this, talk about that, but what are we actually doing? Mm -hmm. We ever talk mm -hmm. about stop the violence, this, stop the violence, and that. What are we doing, man? A Mike Brown situation happened. What we do? We protested for a couple months, and after that, what happened? Nobody's talking about it now. Something yeah. else happened. A kid gets shot. What we do? We, we protested for a couple months, and what? It died down. But I, I don't think those protests actually. I mean, they're they're cool to actually see, mm -hmm. but what the results aren't. What that's the thing. That's, 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 that's the, the thing. We just protest because, oh, we see our friend. They finna go out here. We finna mm -hmm. march and cause some chaos. It's not about causing chaos. We right. gotta try to get a message across the board everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we gonna say stop the violence. Let's do something. Let's buy back the guns. Let's let's do something that's gonna actually lower the crime rate. Right? What what are protests on? It's actually gonna raise the crime rate. Yeah. People gonna be like, oh, well, let's go loop this. Let's go yeah. break it to this. It's yeah. too much high but, energy. But what, why are we not taking back weapons? Why are we not sitting down with teenager kids and talking to them about what better they can do? I mean, if you look about the majority of the crimes in St. Louis, it's teenagers. Jeez. Yeah. It's yep. teenagers. I mean, yeah. 17, 18 year old, I work at drive time. We just had three break ins in the last four months. Yeah. The first break in was 12 cars stolen by 12 teenagers. What? Y'all had two break-ins within this last week, right? We had two break-ins in the last week, last Saturday and yesterday. That's Teenagers. Doing for nothing. You for know nothing. They're not, nothing. They're not even getting nothing. They're not, not stealing nothing. They're just breaking in, looking for what they can grab, not grabbing nothing. they risking their life for they're what? Life for nothing. So with what you are trying to do for the community, what do you think it would fix? I mean, I think it fixed a lot. I mean, it's not going to happen overnight. But it's gonna be a process. Yeah. So once I can get one person on board with me, hopefully they can get another person. That's two people I touch right there. Sure. There are two people can reach two more people. We, we just gonna keep growing. But it has to start somewhere. I can't say I want to stop the violence mm -hmm. and not do anything about it. All I'm doing is keep talking about it. Mm -hmm. We gotta do something about it. Cause I think with your name alone, like when you are try to explain that to a child or a youth, it's like I did it all. 
Yeah. Like learn from my learn from my mistakes, my growth, my. You got experience. to man. It's a, you got to be a person of understanding, man. This is what kids got to realize at an early age. Be a person of understanding. When a teacher is talking to you, or an adult is talking to you about something, try to understand what they are saying instead of trying to rebuttal and be like, "Y'all don't know me. I don't know mm-hmm. none of this." You got to understand what they're saying. Every time somebody says something, it's a meaning behind it. Whether it's the first sentence, whether it's the whole thing, something in what they are saying is some truth or some meaning behind it. Yeah. But what you have to do is understand what part of means to you. Yeah. 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 So if I say something, the whole thing might not apply to you, but that last sentence may apply to you. But you have to realize it yourself to understand what I'm saying in that last sentence to get through everything else. Yeah. So being a person of understand, understanding, I think kids just got to realize that at an early age. Because right now, Grown-ups not even understand other people. Look at marriages, relationships, friendships. Everybody just want to be one-minded and always think they're right. You're not always right, but you're yeah. not always wrong either. Y'all yeah, both can be right. Yeah. Y'all have That's to understand to. that you have to come to an agreement. It's got to be something in the middle. But I think so many people want to have a pissing contest. That's, that's, that's what it is. Be like, that's and now that I, I think as I got older, more mature, whatever you want to say, I just realized I don't have the type of energy to waste towards those type of conversations like mm-hmm. i'm really i cut those short just to figure out what we can do yeah like it's no point of putting too much like arguing back and forth i did this you did that to, no, come on now we grown let's yeah. figure it let's figure it out then we're gonna really figure it out or what else we're gonna do yeah it's, i mean but that's what the kids nowadays like when i was working with st louis public schools you know what i'm saying dealing with the dislocated youth like that was one of the main things like that pride is real yeah like and then that, that risk factor is real for mm-hmm. the kids that age mm-hmm. like they really don't care like not and you know what i'm saying we thought we didn't have some courage like these kids and, and, I, talk, and I talk <laughs> middle school man so in real with you, i talk middle school. that's where it really starts at. it does i had kids coming to school talking about Call my mom, call my dad, I don't care. Yeah. Back when I was a child, they said call my mom and dad, I'm gonna like, straighten up. No, no, don't, don't call. Why would I need to do? But nowadays it's I don't care what you do. I haven't seen my mom this and I had a child say she ain't seen her mother in about a year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I called her auntie, she was like, Well, we ain't seen her mom and this is and this, so I don't know who you supposed to call. How are we supposed to get the child on the right path if nobody has already got her? Mm-hmm. We got kids that have nowhere to go home after school. Mm-hmm. They come to school just to get a hot meal. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's that's what hurt me because I came from that school and it wasn't like that when I was there. Mm-hmm. But so ten years from then, this is what we have. Yep. We not making no progress. We supposed to be we declining. Watching forward. And yeah, we still putting more money into this stuff. Like we ain't correcting the full issue. But yeah. it's not even their fault though. It's easy as adults as now. We always say we're gonna pay it forward. What are y'all doing to pay it forward? Y'all at home saying, oh, these kids need to do this, kids. What are you doing, though? Mm-hmm. I respect all the barbers and all the criminals that got out of jail and came back and went to go coach a football youth team. If you think about all the youth football coaches, they either barbers, been in jail That's before, true. anything That's like that. That's they true. give it back to the kids. They bent down that road. Yep. And all the changed. kids that's playing football now have something to look forward to because of their coach. Cardinal Ritter situation. Kid got me, coach got fired, this and that. They love them. Yeah. Roosevelt coach got fired. They, they love these coaches because the coaches can relate to them. Once a kid receives that you can relate to them, mm-hmm. they were going to listen to you. Yep. Riverview had nothing but white teachers. Fact. That's why that's why they going crazy. You can't relate to these kids. Mm-hmm. You don't know what these kids like going through. Sprinkle black. You hear me? Man, that was that was, was, that was, that was more so in the middle school. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm, like, I'm a kid. I'm looking at you too. Like you don't look like me, act like me, or talk like me. Why am I listening to you? You don't know mm-hmm. my situation. This you got two parents at home. I don't have no parents at home. How can you tell me you know how I feel? You mm-hmm. don't know how I feel. Right. So when you get into like doing like community service, more community service that you wanted to be effective. Because we, you know, now we've done some community service that yeah. we just did just because just say we did. But when yeah. did you start doing it to be effective? I really started doing it back in 2016, and it's only really the really the main reason is because of Alpha, mm-hmm. only because I had just came back from college, came back from Mexico, and. I was, get my feedback with the St. Louis. As soon as I came back, that's when I crossed Alpha. And they was telling me, I crossed the alumni chapter. So of course I have nothing but older bros. I was the youngest nigga ever crossing my chapter. Okay. So of course I have 30 year olds, 40 year olds, 50, 60, mm-hmm. even 70, telling me, hey man, I need you to get in the community. I need you to do this, I need you to do that. And I'm a person of understanding now. So I'm, they got a message. They telling me I need to do something. Yeah. I need to get back to these kids. And the crazy thing is two years later from that, Look at last year, we had what? 20 kids get killed last year. Mm-hmm. That's facts. 20 kids. And some of them from Decatur, Man, St. Louis. Under 20. 
I'm a 20 shoot, and we ain't talking about the little the strays. Man, the strays. We ain't talking we get, about the strays. We got kills of the kids. <laughs> yeah. And that's what makes me want to get back into this giving back to the community, giving them something to do. Even a sport, even I got encourage them to go play a sport. You get that's one that's four hours you're not in the streets. That's facts. And you learn so much being in sports. That's it. That's yeah, I, learned how to, I learned how to trust. Yeah. Playing sports. Like sport, like basketball just alone has taught me how to trust somebody. You know what I'm saying? Be patient. Teamwork. Teamwork. Do your job. Discipline. Just everything. Communication at best. Everything. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It teaches you so much more than just that actual sport. It teaches you about life aspects. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. what people don't understand. But once you grab a kid and you tell them and show them, then hopefully they can tell their friend this is the way to go. This is the way to go. Because if you can't, if, the friends really don't listen to, the kids don't listen to kids. They listen to kids more than they listen to adults. That's mm-hmm. right. So if you can get one kid on board with you, hopefully that kid can get another kid, they can get two more kids. It's going to be a chain of reaction. But until we get one kid to actually lock in on to us. To step up. Yeah, and, cause, cause, and you got to build that. You, you know got I mean? to. You got to build that character because it, it's going to take a lot for that kid to, one, understand what their change is mm-hmm. that's actually necessary. Mm-hmm. And then also just like building out that fear of come out factor where it's like, all right, I'm going to catch scrutiny for this. They're going to think I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm weak. I'm going to punk some stuff like this. But you know what? Watch me change. Mm-hmm. Like, watch me change that. Yeah. But I also think you have to create that cool factor. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like you got to make something cool. And like I think with what I like with we just living brand, that's something that's just cool. Like it's really cool. It's a vibe. So it fits in for everybody. So it's like, okay, if I do that, if I go there, it'd be cool. Mm-hmm. But if you have something that that's that that's not as popular, people they're gonna look at you like you weird or something mm-hmm. because it's awkward. It's not it's abnormal. It's different. It's different. Yeah. That's what that's what people get get mad at because it's different. People mm-hmm. don't wanna be different. People wanna be the same and fit in. But once you be different, people look at you more Respectively and important because you're different. You're not doing the same thing I'm doing. Exactly. Everybody not saying we just live. Somebody might look at it like, bro, that's weird. But we look at it like that's that's hot. <laughs> that's <laughs> different. Yeah. That's, that's a label. That's a that's a statement Damn. right there. I'm just living. At that point, you can do. You can go on a vacation. We just living. Somebody asked you how you and your wife doing. We just living. It's just a way of life right now. I ain't got to tell you no more. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a way yeah. of life. Yeah, it's a way, it's a way of life. No, for sure. So what, has, what would you say like your experience has been now, like, you know, since the growth of you being younger, seeing what community service and what, you know, a certain impact does for certain communities? And what does it look like now? Like, so what the, you know, the evolution how you So basically, I started off real small. I just started off just like I'm doing it, just talking to kids. Mm-hmm. All I do is go into schools, just talk to kids, give them speeches. My old teacher used to call me in and be like, hey, can you just tell them what college is and this, this, and that? I started off just knowing that. And then as I got older, it's about more than just talking. Now I gotta show them. Gotta show. Now I gotta show them what the college look like. Yeah. Now I can go back to my college and we give them like these tours of these high school seniors. Mm-hmm. I can show them the campus and actually get them the real facts of college. Because truthfully, truth be told, people told me about college, it wasn't, it wasn't the same. same. It wasn't, it wasn't the same. same. It wasn't you the tell same. me what college don't be like, no matter what college you go to, every college is different. Mm-hmm. That's facts. And so, because you're you 20, 25. 25, and I'm 29. So at that point in time, like, social media was, well, YouTube was kind of getting It was kind of there. It was like, even Instagram, it wasn't really a lot of social media attention by me as yeah. a freshman in college yeah that was 2012 mm-hmm. like when i was in high school i really didn't think about no social media exactly so everything you heard was still word of mouth it's word yeah. of mouth yeah. it's like that's how you figure out oh no nah, well if i hear about them all the way here that means that nigga that's how something. we sell most cars at drive time word of mouth i mean everything is better about word of mouth because mm-hmm. somebody experienced it's it before yeah. you've been through it so you know how it is so now i can do it if i watch an advertiser of drive time and say a thousand dollars this isn't it uh, that ain't right. But if you come to me like, hey, bro, all I had to do is put a thousand down here. You might as well go. Oh, I'm gonna go there. Then you did that. Cool. I know. I know somebody who went through that. But mm-hmm. I'm just looking at the advertising. They just trying to get my money, bro. Yeah. So word of mouth is very, is very important. Like it's, it's big to me. Yeah, it, like that. That was our networking back then. Yeah. Like think about it. We. I still got pa- like paper clippings of my stats. You feel me? Oh, yeah, I got yeah. newspaper. Okay, right? yeah. 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 Like that. Like they don't do that no more. But that paper is just like that's where that's the type of thing. You can hang it up on our wall. What you gonna do with this this right here? You gonna exactly. email you know, and then you got printed off. Man, but that man. was the type of networking we had, so shit all around Illinois, 
if you got the paper, that's how you seen everything that was going on. Who had a good game? But that's why our social skills better. Though. That is literally true. kids now, yeah. like as this kid, we can like ride. Man, time we can time. we can go ride a bike. We can go do this. We gotta be in be in the house by the time something like I mean by the time the street like multitasking. You know, now the kids they got their phone, they got their iPad, they up here playing games, they playing Fortnite, they doing. They you know outside is you know riding a bike. Kids. To be honest, yeah, you strap your leg up, you know, and that's why they kids saw. They never had their knees burnt up. Ride bikes. Kids don't know how to do this because they social skills are not. And they don't play more than one sport no more. They don't. They play one because their parents want them to just do this, do that. No, like back in the day, like those bad ones, like the old. They played today was like forty. Yeah. Back in the day, but they played football growing up, so they know what a hit feel like. They know. They don't feel it when they get to the NBA. But then that's again, they didn't have that social media. They didn't yeah. have to go outside. Their social media you was going outside. Right. I, had to, I had to get a number. I used to have a go to Saints and Palace Ooh. with Ooh. a pen <laughs> and some paper. Man, man. you man. had to. Pen and pen. It wasn't I, no I didn't go there, but I definitely had me a little bro, note. Bro, it wasn't no, no phone, phone, bro. It wasn't no phone. I had no phone. Number. I got to write it down, write the name. Now I got to actually talk to you to know who I'm going to call and text. That's true. I, I had to pick up the phone and call. I can't text you. I had a two-way. book when you got home. I had a two-way. just full of the numbers. You're like, all right, I know exactly. Yeah. All right, cool. You ever count up your paper? You just rip the papers off. I she looked good because, hey, you get a party number at a party, shit. Man, you go to a party, you forget your paper. You got to write it on your hand. Make sure you don't touch nothing with this hand because you can't wash this hand right now. You trying to wait till you get home so you can save that number. You got to call a house phone and actually talk to a parent before you even talk to a person. Hey, look, first off, at the right time, celebration. Hey, hey, I was young. I get a phone to my senior year high school. That's what I'm saying. So shit, I'm with pen and paper, giving hugs out. Bo, you call her house phone like, yes, Miss James, can I talk to um Laura? Well, you got five minutes on the phone. You got five minutes. We gotta get on by eight o'clock. You gotta make sure you call about six seven. See, we still had cell phones. We gotta act like we we didn't have cell phones. I'm 27. So often we had the cell phone age during that time. I mean, we had it was cell phone, but niggas don't raise them. There we go. That's yeah, it. Yeah, it was it was was the, you showed your parents had you money. You had, cell phone. had your, your slots of when to talk. Yeah. You but said, uh, if you not with Sprint, I can't talk to you. But I had I had prepaid, though. So I had to make sure I paid to get some minutes on my phone. Each text was like five cents. You got to add a bubble. How many minutes I got left? No, they ain't got to do that now, bro. Everybody got their phone. You got to limit it. Parents is paying for it because their kids want it. Mom, man, let's get back to this. What what need to have work. these social skills, work, man. man. Social That's why these kids out here, not saying there's something wrong with Jack and Box or fast food restaurants. It's cool when you're high school, but niggas only got McDonald's nobody want to be 40 week. years old. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm, I'm manager of Jack and Box. Come on, bro. You, you can do so much You know more. you could have did more. Your potential is so much And that's what it is. That's like college, or, college or no college, bro. Just your people skills alone can get you somewhere in life. Network. Knowing how to network. Just learn how to talk, how to, to, talk somebody, to somebody, somebody. Just give it conversation. Genuine yep. conversation takes you a long way. Yep. But people don't understand that because we lacking that right now. That yeah. and then we think everybody mean. Like we yeah. got we got we so hard for our for ourselves and then we sit, you sit there, somebody genuinely talk to you, you don't even know how to say hi and don't know who, who actually But we look but we look for something to blame it on. Yeah, so that's what we, we do. We look for we got we gotta blame something. This is not our fault. I didn't get this degree because it's not my fault. It's because this person did this. No. no. Everything, we have to take responsibility looking for it. Just looking for it. We have to take responsibility. That's like a, that's like a person playing just to get fouled. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You, you throwing your body around just to get fouled when you could have did something. That's why I say that quote every day when I wake up, bro. I never have a bad day. Just a different mind state, bro. Just think about it. If you have a bad day, what's one way you can just change your whole bad day? Shit, thank you. Just change yeah. your mind, bro. Anything that happens, bro, I can go, oh, somebody robbed me for $15,000, bro. I'm mad right now, bro. But tomorrow, I'm still, I still got robbed for $15,000. I still got robbed for $15,000. I still got robbed for $15,000. It ain't going to change the fact that I got robbed for $15,000. So I can't be mad every day. Yep. The day I get happy is because I changed my mind state. Mm-hmm. I said, I no, lost you gonna make it right I'm like, I lost it. I accept I, I gotta move on. I can't do this no more because that's okay. how I lost what it. Part did so I let play me do this. this? Cause I'ma change that so it don't happen again. Yeah. And that's why and you move forward. That's why I just wake up with the same mood or a different mood every morning because I tell myself that like, hey, you ain't gonna have a bad day. It's gonna be a different mind state. Anything happen. A customer come in, they be like, I can't buy this car. If I get mad, I'm never gonna sell a car after that. Because Fact. I'm still that stuck on this first one. So what I gotta do is change my mind state. Cool, you ain't buy, cool, the next one gonna buy. Fact. No, you ain't gonna buy, cool, the next one gonna buy. It may take me five people until I get the one to sell, but 
then consistency and my mind being like that, I'm gonna get. It. That's how it is in my job. I tell you, I told you, bro. Like, <laughs> if I start off my day with an argument, it genuinely could start off my day being argumentative on the phone. Every I'm time, trying to talk bro. to these people and sell them and let them know, like, hey, like you genuinely do need this. This was supposed to be on your home, like. It, it resonates and now. But if you get after that first argument, you can be you like, like, I made it though. What? That's just that argument. It's just that yeah, person. Cool. We gonna yeah, no, they cursed that. So we're gonna we, <laughs> <laughs> so we, like, we finna do a Spitfire question round. Okay. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. It's not like real Spitfire. Like it's the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. Is there anybody that you would like to meet or work with? Yeah. Is uh, is it locally or just yeah, sure. anybody yeah. in the world? Yeah. You want to go who? Mm -hmm. yeah. And why? It's a lot of people I want to work with, but one of the biggest would probably be E.T. The motivational speaker. Only because... We will, we will talk off camera because <laughs> I got rights to this, so you can't have this, but we going to talk off camera. It's line that's, that's the nigga. And I, I definitely want to talk to him. That's, that's the man. Because that's one of the I don't even want to call him a nigga. That's the man. That's the man. That's bro. because his mind state, bro. Everything is about motivation and empowering anybody. He's talking to business owners. He's talking to football players. But his message doesn't change. His it message is always, change. It's, it's always motivation. It's about what you're doing for your fucking life. And that's, and that's what I'm just talking about of me trying to motivate the kids, bro. The only way I can motivate the kids is... Seeing what other people are doing to motivate others, mm -hmm. he's motivating business on. He's motivating football players. He's motivating on, everybody, bro. bro. Everything on right. every aspect of the same know, message. He he already declared. He said he's no longer doing businesses. He's only dealing with schools. So yeah, we'll take him after that. We gonna yeah. talk. But we trust. Talk. All right. Well, who would you like to meet or work with? You already know. It's, it's ET, bro. It's ET. I told you. <laughs> like it's ET. It's in the works. I did the. Professional development with him, um, doing the one percenters club. Like, flew, went to Chicago. That was pure business development. Met him, talked to him, like genuinely, and it changed the whole perspective. I came back to St. Louis. I'm talking to Jay. I'm like, listen. At the very least, this is gonna happen. Yeah. Like, cause we moving, but we gotta move a little bit differently to be more effective. Mm -hmm. Like. And this is what I want to do, because you know, like my whole mission with do yourself a favor is literally affirmation, action, and accountability. Yes. That's it. Like everything you do, genuinely, you play a part in. So oh, of course. At the end of the day, you can't say you got excuses. Now I'm not saying some nostalgic stuff don't happen, some nuances, but at the end of the day, you still play the biggest factor in which is gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And if you say you're in a bad position, figure out how to get out of it. Cause nine times out of ten, you gotta help yourself to do it. Mm -hmm. So like figure out what that is and then make your next move. Yeah. Like you seen yourself right here at this level and literally you got so much more you can get yourself, but you just thinking like I can't do nothing. Like you made that decision. That's real. <laughs> it's definitely real, bro. It's definitely real. But ET is definitely just that person only because like I'm saying, bro, that motivation, bro. Like people don't need handouts to get them somewhere. All they need is that motivation to get them over there at home. Tell me I can do something I can't. And I'm gonna go do it because you motivated me to go do it. Yeah. That's what that's what coaches do, bro. They know they uh, a 300 pound offensive lineman mm -hmm. can't get to the end zone in 10 seconds. But if you be like, hey, bro, you good? You just just do it. Up, just motivate this person. I bet you you gonna be like, you know what, coach? I'm gonna give him my all. And that's what it comes down to. Just give it your all. Whether you can do it or can't, give it your all. Yep. Yeah. The yep. worst thing that happen is you fail. Guess and, what? And you, you try. try. You, you try. try. But you try because the reality is you ain't gonna fail. You gonna figure out a, a whole nother route. You gonna. You, you gonna, gonna have to. You gonna have to. Gonna have to. <laughs> you said you can't so get a ball. Right. But something. if you want it, you gonna find another way. And yeah. that and that's what a lot of things are about, though. You feel me? Like that's one thing. That's why Al Harris is one of my favorite. Guys. And that's why I like to meet out and do anything with. It don't even matter. Like let me just. Pick your brain, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like he's like, from, he's from Virginia, but I feel like you've been together, together and I feel like we're from the same spot, mm -hmm. you feel me? And so it's just like, the way he has had his career and what he can do now, like his impact, like he did that for all of us, a lot of this stuff. Okay. And his impact, I wanted, I wanted to do something with him that let, because there's a lot of those kids and still youth or adults that are just like him. Mm -hmm. yep. You feel me? And then know how to cross over when it was time to cross over. Right. Because that's what kept him out of the league because he didn't know how to cross over to to business. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And yeah. so, because a lot of people with talent, but they don't know how to use it. Yeah. So 
the right guidance. Hey, what, uh, what's the saying? It says, uh, what? Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Like, <laughs> hey. When your, left, and when your athleticism goes, what you got left? <coughs> you work it. That's it. You what work you put it. in all these years. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I think he's a great person to let people know, okay, this is what you don't have to do. Yep. 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 I feel you. So, what else? Let's see, man. Like, I mean, what's your, your time management right now has to be on point to switch over, correct? You still on the, on the uh, Spitfire questions? Yeah. Huh? So, what what is your time management like right now with that? So, like, you go to work, how long typically? I'm married for about eight, it's eight to nine hours. Okay. So, today I was there for 12.30, I got off at eight today though. So yeah, 12.30 to eight. Yeah. After that, I, be usually, I usually try to keep myself busy. So, with the time management, I have to make sure everything fits in the time frame. Mm -hmm. So, Jay told me, like, he got something at 10 30, which means we got a time frame. <laughs> I'm off at 8. Yeah. I only can make it until about 8 8 15. 8 20. Right, 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 8 20. After that, that's to give us a two hour frame. But of course, you don't want to go right into an interview at 10 30, so we need to be done by 10. So now I got a time frame from 8 30 to 10. Yep, yep. So we're going to get here. We're going to do what we're going to do. So we might not start tonight. We got an hour. Nine to ten. We're gonna do what we gotta do between nine and ten. After that, it's 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 sometimes you go home or sometimes like even me going to blue. But me going to blue doesn't mean I'm going out to party. I'm going out there and hand out business call. I gotta do it right now trying to buy a car from blue, so I'm I need to go holler at him because I got one ready. But mm -hmm. either that or I'm going there to promote my party for Saturday. Mm -hmm. Everything is work related. Yeah. So it's not, I'm never off. Yeah, I'm never off. I'm never <laughs> off. This right here, this is not me being off. This is me getting something off my chest because I feel like I got a message. So I was like, I agree with this. So, so we're going to do that. And I'm just working, bro. Everything is about work and making sure I'm doing everything I want to do. Yeah. This ain't because somebody else want to do I'm off the clock. So I ain't got to do what, what, what Uncle Sam, Uncle Tom, I ain't got to do what they say. Yeah. I'm, I'm good, I'm fine. I'm mean yeah. that. But I, I got to work for myself. That's it. Because that's my goal is to work for myself. Every day, all yeah. day, they try to work for the man, but I have to take the process. I have to learn to do what I gotta do. Now, right now, the biggest one is network. Like you said, now I gotta get people out. It might be some people in blue that don't even follow me on the ground. Mm -hmm. How they gonna know about the party? Yeah, I gotta get out here to talk. Social skills. Right. I gotta get out here to play. How you doing? What you doing Saturday? That oh cool. Come on. Come back. We right back here. <laughs> right? We ain't going nowhere. Right back here. Same DJ and all. <laughs> You so like this music? Cool. He play that Saturday. Yeah. I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah. Then next day, it's the same thing. I'm gonna wake up, go to work. I ain't gonna go out, but I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do from like ten to twelve. After that, I'm going to sleep. I'm trying to be sleep by twelve. Man, look, and you know you gotta sleep tonight. That's the crucial. Oh yeah, bro, because I've talked to so many people during the day, bro. You got so many attitudes and so many vibes you got to go through, bro. You got to be on point for all of them. Yep. I might have a cool vibe here, but this person is gone. You got to have attitude. And adjusting that to get back is like so much energy. So like, much and energy. And I got to have another well, conversation yeah. after. Yeah, like this is not my last conversation today. My <laughs> last conversation don't happen until about almost 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I got to be on point from when I wake up to when I go to sleep. And that's why I got tired of performing last year, bro. Right. Like that's why I just said I'm done with events. Yeah. And I, I was like, the last one I'm gonna do is the Mass Race Snicker Ball, cause I'm tired of performing. Tired. Juking and jiving. I can't. I'm what tired. Till you, what till you pay somebody? I mean, what till you gotta pay somebody for that? Cause it's your business. So you get yeah. you, you, mm -hmm. you do that. That's what we doing right now. We working yeah. on us. I'm working on getting a team. That way, all I gotta do is tell them, hey. Yeah, I, I accept that. Y'all can do that. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. No, mm -hmm. I'm put it. Yeah, I'm just yes and no. Exactly. I'm sitting at home just signing the checks Sign and shit. Checks. I'm just going to lay back down and kick my feet up. Then you genuinely in like pure networking. Like, yeah. Like only I don't have the, the right, right people. Genuinely. But for my time frame, I love that shit tomorrow. But I really want to kick my feet up at 40. I want to grind right now. I want to do this. I feel you. This is something I want to do. 
If I can do this now and grind, bro, 20, 20 years, bro, come holler. True. I'm done. I put somebody on. Mm -hmm. I put a lot of people on. Mm -hmm. You made a lot of people money already. Yeah. And they still making me money. We eat. All together. What they say? Hey, eat together, bro. Yep. So we go, hey, yep. we yep. starve, we gonna eat together. Can I sneak your ball next year? The year after that? Hold on, we might have, <laughs> we might be the shakers. Hey bro, so I'm trying hey. to say, hey bro. Hey. And, and and the thing is, it's possible. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 that's what I'm saying, that, bro. Hey, people don't understand, like, hey, whatever you think can can happen, it's possible. What I tell you about the first <laughs> one, I say I'm not thinking about it right now, bro. Yeah. I'm thinking about five years. But the now. thing we make, bro, I, that money didn't get spent to, like, bro, I had that money for hellas. That's, that's the crazy thing is, bro, I, I gave most of that money away. Yeah. But we, still had, but we still had enough to... Yeah, I was still chilling, but on the side of us, I, everything with that, I still had some other people. I was like, hey, look, your services, bro, you did this, this, and that. Yeah. They was asking, telling me, like, oh, you know why you did that? I'm like, nah, bro. You, you I just, I just you ate, ate, I just ate it for the eat, bro. That's you got to eat. I'm going to put you on. You might go hard. Nah, you going to go you hard. You going to go hard. You going to be like, this what happened? Off a of GP. Off this is off GP. You ain't even no contract. You ain't even <laughs> You just walked up to me like, what, bro? What's that? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's that. So back to the Spitfire round, okay? So if you could be in any movie, what would you be in? Ooh. That's a good one. Probably all about the Benjamins. I can see that. I can see that. That's what I'm I can definitely see that. Probably all about the vigilance. <laughs> okay. So, what's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up in the morning? The first thing? First thing you do or, or think of when you wake up in the morning? I really be shocked that I, I'm alive, bro. I be trying to, like, ah, oh, shit. Man, you got that, you got that. Hey. You breathe it. I thank God I do do that, bro. I do wake up and be like, hey, I do got another day, because you never know when it's going to be your last day, bro. So, that's real. I always got this shock look like, man, I know I'm blessed, but hey, I'm breathing again. So, mm -hmm. now I, got, I, got, I got an opportunity to go do what I want to do. Everybody got that opportunity, bro. Like, a lot of some people that didn't know what they was doing was going to be their last time. Like, some people know, like, all oh, my time comes. Some people don't, bro. So, every since like last year, bro, I've been waking up like, damn, I got another 24. Bro. I got to do something with this, bro, because everybody ain't grinning with that. But, you can do some shit. Yeah, but after that, I just think about it, like, I know it's coming at work. I'm finna go sell cars. Like, everybody woke up different today. I understand that everybody wakes up different. Mm -hmm. So, if I had a cool customer the day before, Mm -hmm. The next customer might not be cool, bro. So I have to be like, hey, give yourself prepared to go to work and deal with different attitudes, bro. All these vibes, bro. I'm good. All these vibes. So I got to be like, on point. Mm -hmm. but I feel it. Hot or cold? Hot. Okay. Emos or pie? Emos. Okay. What was your favorite pair of shoes? Ooh. Of all time. All mm -hmm. time? Mm hmm Like a specific one? Mm hmm It was probably the Brady Levis. Because I had those since they was young. The Red and Black? The Red and Black ones. Yeah, they are like. If yeah. I was going to buy Jays, I would have those. Yeah, bro. I just don't buy Jays. He just don't buy Jays. He buy we just look. Or we Or we Or we Preferably, guys. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's a lifestyle. Like, you know what I'm saying? A, uh, I I think I already know this answer. But what's your favorite drink? Remy seventeen thirty eight. Oh, see, I was gonna go to Green Bottle. No, because they got me. Hey, they got me adjusted. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I can do Remy. Well, no, once you had that seventeen thirty eight. The seventeen thirty eight is nice. Yeah, I need the seventeen thirty eight. But the Green Bottle is still cool to me. I mean, it's cool. Yeah. Cool. That's my taste buds might never be. <laughs> All right, what's your favorite sports team? Mm, do I like all sports? Ooh, that's real. That's real. <laughs> right, let's go. No, let's get every every team. Ooh, so folks, okay. so NFL. Yep. Patriots. Yeah. Patriots. Rockets. Rockets. Soccer. 
I really don't watch soccer. Cool. Baseball? I'm a Cardinals fan. Ride or die. Ride or die. So you're a Rockets fan? For real? Oh, yeah. How long you been a Rockets fan? Uh, about eight years. How many? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Since T-Mac. I, oh, I was a big team. Or or Steve Francis. Ooh. Steve Francis was it? Was and Catino Catino Moly. Moly. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nigga sleep on Catino, yeah. bro. Yeah, nah, bro. Tino was, was nice. Yeah, nah, I messed with the Rockets. Bro. Okay, I ain't mad at you. We had Pat. <laughs> we had <laughs> Pat. Pat. Like Pat. <laughs> y'all had a whip and y'all yeah, traded it. But I'm a, I'm a huge LeBron fan though. Yeah, me too. So I was, I, was, a, I was, but I just don't like the jumpers. Teams and shit, bro. So I don't really want to. I mean, he, he, he's a businessman now. He's. I feel that, bro. I and, and that's that, what bro. I, you know, at this point, I just gotta give him. Oh no, crazy. now that's cool. Now, but like, but I was a huge Jordan fan, though. Like, I ain't know nothing but. I can't him, say I Jordan. was at all. Yeah, I mean, I barely seen because I was little, but yeah. when I, the highlights I'm seeing now, everything like I was a Jordan fan. Bro. I'm like, it's cool. Yeah, like, I'm like, but I've seen niggas do better. It's crazy. Cause I used to be a Kobe fan. I hate Kobe. Right Kobe. Hey, first of all, let, let, let me. I used to hate. I used to hate Kobe. I used to like Kobe. I used to like Kobe. I used to like Kobe. But then now that he don't play no more, cause he beat AI in the finals, I hated him. Like I cried. The only finals I cried. Hey, no, bro. Kobe used to. Kobe, nice. He is. But then LeBron came. I was. I had to switch LeBron. Cause LeBron better than Kobe. Yeah, that's why I was going with that. In real life. That's why I did. So I was a Kobe fan, then LeBron came, I was a LeBron fan. Then you got to switch your teams. So, <laughs> you know, you got to switch your teams. It's funny that we genuinely kick people out. Even though like we can genuinely still be a full fan of each one. You know what I'm saying? Like, technically you still a fan of each one in no, that I'm right. a fan of Kobe. Well you not. You until, until his last couple of years. I was like, oh, Kobe Kobe tried to shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you win. You missed the 81 call. Like, like, call you know? like when he got hurt, I, he came back, he started oh. passing the ball. Oh. You know. And I'm like, oh okay, he's really good. He's good. <laughs> at this moment. But, at no, at bro, this bro, moment. He, he started not, playing point guard. Like he started going crazy. Yeah, I don't remember that too. No, but Kobe's not better than Allen Iverson. I'll, I'll okay. put that out there. Next question. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you you like Kobe and AI team up. Next Come question. on now. Hey, he Kobe, Kobe had to study Kobe. AI. What well, Westbrook said in next question. Next oh, oh. Next question. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll, I'll put the link where Kobe said he had to stay, uh, study AI to get better. Okay. That's fine, bro. Below. Uh you said you're a Cardinals fan, which is crazy. All right, if you can have a superpower, <laughs> we gonna we gonna just bypass that too, bro. Cause, cause tell me, if whoa, we not whoa, 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 like, whoa! What you say, bro? What was the question? Wow. If I had a superpower. What would it be? Man, a superpower. Mm-hmm. Man, there's so many powers I can have. I'm gonna take over the world, boy. Is it the power to take over the world? That would be different. Yeah, take over the world? Like, but I wouldn't want to like, take over this. Like, would you be like Rockefeller or some shit? Somewhat. But I don't know what that's my special power. My special power. Like, you can tell, you can, you know what I'm saying? Control people's actions or something? Ooh, like, 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 like. Control, like, control, like, like, control uh, the actions. Professor bro. X. Like, she, yeah. She, I, hey. Boom. Because <laughs> you about to do something for the you like Yeah, bro. No, nope. but for the good. But though, for the bro. good, I feel you. That's, that's okay. for the good, bro. So, just, to, just to help people out, bro. I, that's really all my special power, just to help people out. Whatever I have to do, help them out, bro. Like, get it done. Okay. If you, damn, if you had a, you feel me, superpower, what would it be? Can you talk about this? I still. <laughs> I do want to control people's minds, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's like, I can tell you, I want to read people's minds, not necessarily even control them. Read your mind. See, and that's you should yeah. be like, I know what you think. Because then <laughs> I know how to, I know how to, I know how to control your movements by my own actions, and I'm not reactive. Like, so you can just be a, just turn it on and turn it. Yeah, on. you know what I mean. So if you go to a basketball game, bro. A lot of people thinking, bro. So you get. Yeah, oh no, you gotta be like Professor X. I'm gonna be powerful enough to zone in and be like, all right, listen. Oh, so you on that? Okay, That's so, crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna move like this. Right here, bro. 
Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, the future, I'm trying yeah, to see, I'm, see what but I'm, I'm more so controlling the future based off of the thoughts so that you I have. You want to control that mind, yeah. so you want to control, control, control it. I'm gonna control. I want to read it, but I don't want to control it. I'm technically controlling it by my own actions. Okay. Then I'm a lot more accountable in the situation. It's like, all right, I should be well, able to get exactly. Now that's gonna be a whole other <laughs> ball game, right? And I got to be in the moment and saying, like, okay, hey, so dude, what are you buddy, thinking? Buddy. Funny as hell. All right, dude. <laughs> if you were stuck on an island, three things. <laughs> three things. What? Three what three things? What three things <laughs> would you bring? If I'm stuck on an island. Yeah. Yep. How long I'm stuck? We had debates earlier on what the ramifications <laughs> are of this question. I'm about to say. And <laughs> so like we had somebody that brought a boat. I'm about to say we, <laughs> we had somebody that brought a plane that could you know ride on the water. Jay no, wants to take that away. I'm first just saying, of all, I'm saying, no, she, I'm saying first of all, she said a plane. She didn't say to kind of go on. She did. She, did. <laughs> she, she, did. did. she eventually got there. No, bro. She I had did. to put it. I had to put that example. So at the end of the day, she chose that. Then she chose that option. She's like, it okay, wasn't even an option. Because you took away my plane. Then Jay said, oh, well, you get the plane. Because you don't have to drive a plane now. But but you don't have to drive a plane then. People don't understand. Where wrong, bro? I feel like you try to figure that out. <laughs> and I and I said you're gonna end up in the ocean. Out. I it, I have better chances of trying to figure that out than trying to figure out in how to survive on the island. That I've never in that case, she should say, I br- I will bring a pilot, a plane, and myself. Okay. That's what you should have said. Well, I won't take myself if I got me one of I'm not taking myself. I'm not going to the island. No. First of all, I don't even know how to swim, bro. So I'm not going to oh, an island, bro. Nah, yeah, man. bro. So why would I put myself in that? But if you get stranded, what you gonna bring though? Why am I being stranded? Shit, you is there. <laughs> it's too late. Like, nah, I didn't wake up and I'm there. You didn't need it all. Bro. <laughs> bro. So you gotta say, so you gotta, so this is something, this is an option that you had to go through because you didn't need it all. I, mean, I gotta go through it all. And you didn't made it back now. So shout outs to you making it back already. So now, in the past, you were stranded on this island. How'd you get it, man? Or did you just, you know what I'm saying? What three items helped you survive? Food. No, I got no cap. Food. There's no I cap. You can say unlimited if you want. I to. need water. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks. shelter. All right. Like a little tent, like a little tent or something. But how will people come find you? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to think. How did I get back? I obviously figured it out. He figured it out. That's <laughs> true. All he knows. I obviously figured it out with food. If somebody drives a boat, somebody on the boat ride by, I could flag them down with some trees or something. But, 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 but you stranded on the island. There's nothing this. Close. No, 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 no. We never said what? that. Is somebody coming to this island? Why am I the only person in this world <laughs> that ever came here? <laughs> this I'm not that exclusive. Tell me that reason. I did not figure this one out. Nope. <laughs> Not a choice. How did I get <laughs> to this island? You know what, I'm though? what? And I'm the only person in the world, in the world, that's coming to this Trust island me. at this time. Trust me. He got what am I going to find in this island? Down, first of all, he got unlimited water. He got <laughs> Where am I going by myself to get to this island? That's it. I mean, you just went. <laughs> no, I'm telling me I just went to an island, bro. I didn't just go to an island. <laughs> oh. First of all, I don't know how to drive a boat. If I don't know it now, I ain't gonna know it then. I gave you the boat. I gave you the boat. Because I'm like, you don't really need to know how to drive a boat. What? It's so much. It's gonna go somewhere. So why am I straight? But you ain't got a boat. I mean, you say you didn't bring a boat. But still, why am I the only person on this island in the world? Hey, so all he <laughs> needs is food, water, and he's still there, bro. And he he figured out. I don't right. figure somebody he might be coming by in ten come minutes, bro. But right now, I'm gonna be like, I'm good. I'm just saying, like, they may not come around for years. Man, what you got? I know. Now you, you now you add the other thing. <laughs> but you still good. Why am I still the only <laughs> person in the world at this island? Hey, you got an invitation. <laughs> You feel me? I got an invitation. Somebody, somebody coming. They sent you off. Somebody, 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 they sent you off. Then I went by myself. And you went by yourself. How did I get here? 
I don't know how to drop off. Somebody hated me. If that's the case, like somebody, that was you got dropped off. You was on a cruise. I got dropped off. You was on a cruise. Okay, and everybody died except for you. <laughs> no, nah, they died. Stuff. You just got dropped off because that's where you thought you were dropped off. I mean, off. but no, I'm just saying that's the only way, right? Why are you telling me I got dropped off? <laughs> like it had to be like they pulled over. <laughs> TJ, you should have stopped. Get off. <laughs> I'm on a cruise and they tell me to get off a boat, bro. First off, tell me. It's the, the whole baggage. crew, it's the had, baggage. The whole crew had it's to the have thrown them off because he's not going light. You no. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going by myself. I'm the only person <laughs> on this crew is getting off. It's, it's the baggage. baggage. They sent you an email saying, "Hey, you, you got a private cruise." What? Oh, one high goofy ass bro. What, are, what are you talking? <laughs> Next question, bro. You making me bad. <laughs> Oh man, my the crew just pull over T J and show stop. I'm the only person to drop at an empty aisle. Like, I don't see no balloons, no nothing going on. <laughs> I'm not going, Jay. I don't know, but hey, you know what I'm saying? You fi we figured it out. If you go, oh go ahead. Nah, you if you could work with anybody dead or alive, who would, who would it be? be? Back of X, bro. Okay. Why? Oh, better yet, not even why. What would you want to do with him? To see how he'd be now. Okay, so like back then, you see, you know, everything evolved, everything gets better. Mm -hmm. So if that was him then, imagine right. him now. Okay. He probably had something figured out. The years I wasn't born before her, like he probably got some fish <coughs> out that we could actually take St. Louis back. We could okay. take the world, but we at war right now. In real life, though. It's probably yeah, something we could have fought for, came together. What we need, what we just talked about, motivation. He motivates some, some people, and we going. Yeah. We know the vote, we know everything, we know what we need to learn, because there's somebody out here just doing it. Yeah. But, can, can I ask a question real quick? This is just about sports, right? Okay, let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. Why? It's a lot of black billionaires now and millionaires. Why don't we buy our own leagues? Because it's still more of them. It's still, it, because it's the reality is. Because they want to take a pay cut? That, I wouldn't even say necessarily. It's a lot. It's, even, even more than sports, like. Why we don't go buy a lot of our own stuff? Yeah, like it, it, it takes take a lot of we don't, right we now. We don't even support our, our own stuff, so we try to go buy back our own stuff. We ain't gonna get the same support that we have from there. Yeah, because it's, like like, like, it's like black businesses now. Why are we not shopping more? We shopping at more black businesses. You know what I mean? We still going to other stores, and like, and we do got black businesses. The same thing of everything out here. We just choose not to go to. True. So we're gonna get this sports and we're gonna do that. Like they still gonna go pay to watch their football more they watch our football. Mm-hmm. they gonna it's like <laughs> they don't you gonna figure out like what are the differences. Because one, you got just the politics that'll go into the different teams that we'd have to put on, right? Yeah. Like we gotta be global at that point in time trying to touch everything. Yeah. So we gotta be open to, you know what I'm saying, going to different countries, making sure we recruit and we doing all of that. In order to make it even as entertaining as the already NFL or NBA, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and so it's trying to convert that type of market. And it's not saying it can't be done. It's just saying like, are the other races, are the other players going to be as receptive of buying into that, and then the people supporting that? I, I think if. Players like marquee players decided to go and leave. Okay, but the thing is it's about the, the pay cut. That pay Maybe they're going to want to go from all of being able to make $202 million right. to fucking cut 50, 500000 a year. You feel me? They, first, they, they, don't, they ain't going to take their pay cut, but that's what it will take. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To make a real difference in the world to because then you can, you can push whatever agenda that you want.
through sports or through anything you do. Yeah. Because then you have you have the, their attention. And like how that LeBron cut, that pay cut though is gonna limit because it takes genuinely it does take money in order to make it happen. It does. So and you yeah. would have a, have to have enough transitioners like and and is it about being a majority black owned business or corporation or is it about just saying it's only black owned that's the same thing i'll tell you about my job no, bro. You know, puerto, puerto rican can be but, listen, too, but, but you, you know how i was like yeah, oh, my, <laughs> my job is between do i want the money or do i want to do it for my passion mm -hmm. so at the end of the day they, the money gonna stop coming in they like Am I doing it for the passion? I just want me to do this, or like, so that pay cut is really like, hey, I can take this money, or I can do it for the passion. Of it. That's true. People want me to agree. Do I, I? We want some. We want some money. Yeah, but so I want me to take a pay cut. Yeah, I don't even want to play no more. That's fact. <laughs> but, but you can you can play for so many. I mean, I know that. I mean, yeah, you can go play for free at the crib, or you go go play in the league or something. Or you know, or you can go, you know what I'm saying, play for You want me to do this on the same level, on the same stage? I can but get that. For that, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard, bro. Some people can't do it. Some people can't do it though. What you doing? Yeah. You That's want it. that money, or you gonna take that paper? Uh, to be honest, I'll probably play for a few years. You know what I'm saying? I try to win my championship. So you got your own personal goals first, right? Yeah, I would try to win my I championship. Know. I ain't gonna lie. But you'll do it for that money though. Man, <laughs> I don't do know because money. bro, cause the thing is like I don't know. I mean for sure, I ain't yeah. gonna I ain't just gonna if I if my chance is playing NBA, I ain't just not gonna play in the NBA. But if it was another league with African which you know what I'm saying, for us. And we. It, it depends on what that number is. Because that's a good number. That can be a good number. That can be a good number. That can be a good number, right? I'm like, I was like, I was back there, okay, what are the revenue streams I got? Because I don't need to be greedy. That's my thing. Like, I don't need to be greedy. Is it being greedy or is it knowing your worth? Knowing your worth, right? You, I mean, your worth could be 200 million, right? But but if you're trying to do something for the community, like, okay. How much are you willing to sacrifice? Exactly. That's you and I'm saying, like, if it, if it's a good number, I sacrifice that because I got other streams of revenue. But you, we're not talking about streams of revenue. You talk about this right here, this pay cut, this lead. Like, hey, come to the lead. All right, I'm gonna give you this. So hold on. So it is like you going either from, I can go here or going, I can go here. You going? Friends. Listen, you go to the lead. Are you? In, I, how many years you try to play? You and LeBron stats. Ten. All right. So your first four years, I give you a couple million. All right. Cause that's what it is. See, no, yeah, like listen. It. See, we gotta start. We talking about the people. No, because if you go to another league, you only make forty thousand. Let's just say it's just five people though. It's forty k. We got four in that perspective. You like, get you, I give you three point five. Give me, give me four no. years. How much was LeBron making? I mean, you got bad. The first three years. His first three years. I give you three point five. Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run that. I'm gonna get that. Or are you go over for our peoples. We doing this for the no. I'm gonna go get the check first though. Okay, so you going to get this? Yeah, check. but I'm saying, but I, I I may after a while decide to go over. <laughs> <laughs> after I a while, I'll be like, man, after oh, a while, so after a while, after a while. I just said ten years. <laughs> it just went to ten years. By that time, no, I said that early. I said that before. Ten years. Yeah, you can take the pay cut thing. Like, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I, I would. I would. You can absolutely take. But what if you have to choose where you even go? Like the league just started. You got for the three years, years. or you can go to the NBA. Which one you going? I'm giving you three point five over here. We gonna give you forty over here. Not even four. Look, I'll make you. I, I'll do some respect. Okay. We give you hundred fifty k. We give you hundred fifty k. To the ball. Just the ball and figure out how to help the community. Like a, a house. That's how much a house is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, no, so you got to you have to say okay, they gonna give me how much? You gotta help them. Three point five. Three point five. They give me. They said they give me two point one. No. The league just you taking a pay cut because you got a pay cut. You got a pay cut. You got a pay cut. Because you transitioning. Two point one. Damn. Like okay, so right now, right? That's a pay cut. That's a pay. Let's put it in perspective of the big three. 
Right. LeBron right now says, hey, forget the NBA. I'm joining up with Cube. And Cube is, hey, right now, what they getting paid? They really getting paid, what, maybe 100K, some of them? Shit. If that, 30, 25. 25K. <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. I and LeBron come over and he get the biggest rock check. You know what I'm saying? He guaranteed, you know what I'm saying, 15K a game. You know what I'm saying? Guaranteed. I would do that in some. Like, <laughs> you can't keep putting all these stipulations. That's just like being on this boat, bro. You talking this island, bro? No, bro. You can't keep putting all these stipulations. I swear, bro. I swear, bro. I just broke it down as best as possible. I'm like, this is actually reality right now. If LeBron said, "Okay, hey, forget it." Now, of course, the numbers gonna switch over okay. to an extent. So, do you think if they had a summer league? That may have been a better question. If yo at the you gotta start at, small at the at the the, the, the black the African small. league or African American league or whatever we want to call it, it's open to anybody. Really, this ain't no. That's why I said the the crucialness right now because you got is, people like Pablo, like Escobar, they got a lot of money. <laughs> like I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. <them. laughs> what well, had a lot of money now? Oh, listen. <laughs> at this point. I think what we're aiming for is majority black owned, or you know what I'm saying, African American owned. But I feel like, and I say that I feel like because would Hispanics be a part of that though? Yeah, I'm, like I said, I hate Jay. If I just said majority, what that mean? We can have other races. Hey, man, y'all are sick, bro. I'm done talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all so, you know what I'm saying, but at the majority, because it's just like, like you give them a chance to, yeah. like it's all one, we all one, bro. The only but, thing we make, that's what I'm saying, we all still, one. So yeah, that that's it. You know what I'm saying? Well, so well, like we got the same agenda at that point. We all because we are not a league, but I mean we are but we all are together. together. It's it's just, we about preach about equality, but now we really want to be our own. Yes, and like, that's my issue. <laughs> that is genuinely my issue. It's like, listen, all right. I understand black owned. I love black owned. We gon we can shop like let's that. Let's find a way but, to get them. But people. let's find a way for us to at least start getting like just more seats. Because the reality is ain't no way we can outnumber the NBA. So, so let's take over. So That's let's, what you let's, let's take so over. Let's get but why people why in the do? Let's take over. But the thing is everything already built. We never, we build never gonna win this. We not gonna win this. So why not create your own? Who would I go with it? And then you take things. And then you take things. That was that mentality. Chase, nah, all right. Now LeBron, take this. No, 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 LeBron Lee. All right, now look. Here, take that same go. situation. Everybody everybody knows. Knows. I will a lot of people make All right, now look. Take that same situation and change your mind state right now and just be like, hey, what if we take over the NBA, bro? Like, what if we got nothing but black owners? Already in the NBA now. I get that, but no, you don't get it. I I understand understand that. Let me say that. I understand that. I understand that. But it's like, why fight a battle that we still gonna fight? Like it's it's gonna be a battle all the way, but we can already start our own stuff. Well, I mean, but if you gotta have enough money to do it, we got big black billionaires out here. Yeah, or they don't. Do they want to do it? We can figure it talk, out. Talk to <laughs> There's two things. Do it. Is it, you got to talk about that. Is this a risk they really want to take? Why do they want to take? They take. What do they have to do with do do with this? They take a lot of different risks. Like now we got an XFL team. That's a tricky risk. Who started that? XFL. They can't. They coming back. Yeah, but I'm saying though, like, and is it Ali? It ain't Ali. They got money to do that. Cause we came together, but it's it's risky. That's risky. Everything's gonna be risky. Man. So why not? So why not take that risk? Because weekends or weekdays. Weekdays. Mm-hmm. And oh, that's that's the risk. You gonna close out? You like weekdays, bro? You like weekends? Ah, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Weekends, man. That like that's when I'm able to genuinely fit stuff in. To be honest, like and and at least have some genuine say. Perfect. Yeah. Versus a regular weekday, I got a schedule already, and then it's like, all right, I got. I'm coming from work. I need to do this. I need to do this. I gotta get back home. I'd rather the weekday just because it feel like I did something productive. I mean, you could do something productive on the weekend. Yeah. But I'm doing something for. This is how I gotta do to survive. Yeah. I gotta yeah. do the work. I gotta yeah. do this and that, that. Like weekend, I feel like I be sleeping. Sometimes you wanna sleep in. But like, you sleeping in, it's like I could have been doing something right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can be feeling productive. Like, I mean, it's feeling cool. Like, I slept in, I'm, I'm energized, but we am gonna do something, bro. Like, my life, I'm wasting. It's somebody dead right now that could've been doing something. Yeah. But we sitting there laying in the bed. I don't know, we gotta rest, but we do that at night. We gotta get up and we gotta do something. Oh, facts. No, no, facts. facts. So, that's why I have weekdays, but weekends, Everybody might say, I can't wait till the weekend. I can't wait till the weekend. Because they want to just go do something crazy. They were See, I just want to put it in my own work. Like, because that's what my time, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, what the time it. schedule will put yeah. in to where it's like, all right, I know I got an option of, of working on the weekend because I, I choose my schedule on that. So it's I like, all right, if I don't want to work, I can come over. I can do this, focus up, do some whatever work I need to, plan some type of event and be like, all right, cool. I did something that I needed to do for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? While trying to do do the regular nine to five, you know what I'm saying, nine to six, and then you figure out like, dang, geez. All right, how do I fit in some work here? So like with my job now, yeah, we got the free time to where it's like, all right, I can look at certain stuff while I'm on there, mm-hmm. even do some network while I'm in the office, then come out and then come do this and, or be like, all right, what event is this? Or, you know what I'm saying, go home, check on the kids and then handle that yeah. aspect of life and then be like, all right, this is this weekend. I, I dedicate this time, this time, this time, because I got complete control over this. I feel it. Yeah, I feel it, man. Okay. Funny. I mean, you like weekends, bro. You like you like you like you like weekends, man. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I definitely like the weekend, but the weekdays ain't that too ain't too bad though. Like I'm more productive during the weekdays because I have to be. Yeah, like the weekend, so it'd be like I finally, it'd be like a fresh breath of air. Like I can, and that's why I just start going to decanter often because it's just like I want to get away from everything. Just relax, relax. Like don't have to worry about it, anything. But yeah, so I mean, I definitely live for the weekends now because it's just like I'm everything's not being demanded. Everything's usually demanded during the week. Feel it. So yeah, you can definitely be your own boss. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we definitely want to thank y'all for tuning in to the More Than Luck podcast with myself, Innocence, Mr. Dun Did It Ditto. Dun Ditto, bro. Dun Ditto. Dun Ditto. Dun Ditto. Dun Ditto. You know what I'm saying? Dun Ditto. Pass Dun Ditto. Pass. Facts. And I'm Fine Wine, and we definitely thank y'all for tuning in. Hey, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Look at the other videos we done posted. Hey, and we still going up. We got a few more things we want to do. Few more people we're going to interview, and so uh, hey, this is the More Than Love podcast. So stay tuned. Hmm.